Otogurisu? Well, what could this game possibly be about? Chunsoft! Oh dear god, what? You know what would be badass? If this was like a point and click adventure or one of those Eye of the Beholder games and it looked this good. But I'm doubting that. This is probably just a really cool intro. Alright. Shit. That guy keeps spamming my name in Japanese on the on my channel comments and I don't remember what it was. I know that the middle one was that weird, almost straight thing. But it's not here. It's not here at all. Unless it's that line, but that doesn't look right. Ah, uh, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna be... Stacked boxes. Telephone pole falling on a house. Telephone pole with a house on it. Sentient TV. Opening a door. That's my name. Don't forget it. Okay, um... I'm driving a car door down the street. We're next to a forest. Somebody's saying that we're going to a creepy house and we're going to all die. Uh, actually, I'm... I'm. That, that's the end of the story, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Right now, we're just driving by some trees. Oh, God, a question. Um, I didn't make anything up for this to be coherent, so just I'll go with B. You have chosen B. You are retarded. I'm going to have to talk to you now and say this thing. Or pretzel, pretzel, pretzel. Pretzel, 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 pretzel. You have chosen wrong. B is not the answer you should choose, smiley face. But now uh, I'm going to ask you another question, okay? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Huh? Would you eat this flower? Would you smack somebody in the face with it? Pretzel, pretzel, pretzel. This guy has a problem with pretzels. Over the mountain there was a guy. And the guy was watching TV. And then he opened his mouth and ate an entire sentence. And then there was a box face. <laughs> what do you do in this situation? Do you take the flower stick and beat him on the head, causing a flower to grow, and slowly sapping him of percentage until he flies off the screen? Or do you downward thrust into his head, uh, cancel out of it with Z, and then smack him in the face with your sword with a power smash? I always do that. B. B? Really? Oh god! This is getting worse. Okay, so there's a falcon, and he's looking over to the left, and he's gonna see you any minute. I mean, seriously, he's gonna bite your head off with his little pecky beak crap. And he thinks you're food, alright? So you're hiding under a table, and you've got uh, a book, and the book is Little Red Riding Hood, I guess. Um, what do you do with the book? Do you stay under the table, or do you read the book to him and hope that it distracts him enough for you to escape? I'm gonna stay under the table. I'm not messing with birds. It 
said eventually the bird would fly away because it would get bored. And then lightning would strike it dead from Thor. You have succeeded in this question. You know how to handle birds, apparently. You are the bird master. You are destined to rule the world by destroying all the birds. No pretzels this time. I guess he ran out. He needs a new bag of pretzels. One half pretzel. Oh, he had one half of a uh, pretzel left there. Are you asking a new question? Because I, I don't know what you're talking about anymore. The bird hasn't left yet. Get on with it! Blah 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 Darkness! And we're back in the car. Ah, I hope that was just a dream. Actually, I hope that wasn't a dream, because I would not want to have a dream with that bird in it. Blah, 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 we're driving. Blah, 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 Did you read all that? Yes. No. No, I did not. Well, you should have, because there was some important stuff in the middle. It's like a terms of service. I just tricked you into agreeing by saying no. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, because I don't have to read it. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, shit! Fool! You should never be okay with agreeing to terms of service. You almost got hit by that car because of that. Pay attention next time. That's what the thing you missed was. It was saying that if you say yes, you would get hit by a car. Um, our, our car's speeding up. What do we do? So, you're in the middle of a forest driving down a road. You almost got hit by a car. Your car's speeding up. What do you do? Panic and slam on the brakes. Oh god, there's three options. Swerve off to the side of the road and uh, hope that you slow down in the grass, or do the Macarena. <laughs> B! It's not working, you're going to die! Oh god, I was right. It didn't work at all. Oh wait, maybe I hit a tree and I'm okay. You've hit a tree and you're okay. Do you A, get out of the car, or B, try to call the cops on your car phone that doesn't work? That was a stupid choice. We're going with A. Let's get out of the car. Oh dear god! Thor, what are you doing? Spin! A tree has been cut in half by Thor. It's going to land on your car any second now. If you don't get out, you're going to die. So you get out of the car, duh, and you run through the forest. Um, but now you're worried about Thor striking you down, so you're kind of not sure of what your next thing should be. <sighs> Is this a game or a book? Running through the forest, there's a Thor above me. What am I gonna do? Um, run through the forest some more, hide under a tree. I just saw what happened to that tree, so fuck that. Try to dig a hole and escape the Thor madness until the rain stops. Let's go with that. Thor disapproves of your plan. You run into a field of flowers, the type of flowers we were talking about earlier. Do you A, take one to beat somebody over the head over with later, or B, sniff them? Hey, you never know when you're going to need a flower stick. You know, I don't know if all of you know this, but that flower stick came from the Japanese version of Tetris Attack in which, instead of Yoshi and friends, it was a bunch of fairies. 
And Tetra's attack is awesome, so that flower stick is by proxy awesome. So you end up at a house, you've got a flower with you, your car is a wreck, there are, there are no phones anywhere, you don't see any electricity in this house. Do you A, think about how it was actually in the intro and now it's a different color, or B, enter the house? B. So you're not sure if you're really brave enough to enter this house or not, because I mean, look at it, it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. There weren't any even roads, or any roads even going to it. What the hell is it doing here? Thor's still pissed off at you, what do you do? Go in the house anyway, or run away like a pansy. We're here, this is the point of the game, we might as well go in, you know? We're back at the flowers, really. You're a pussy. You couldn't do it, so you ran back to the flowers. Or maybe this is inside the house, and it's just raining in flowers. Let's go back to the house, if, if not. Oh god, what's going on? Are we running away? Are we like, no, we're not doing this house. The trees! The trees are green! They're growing in the dirt! What do you do? A. Freak out and run to the nearest hiding spot or back to the house. I don't know which. Or B. Realize you're being completely retarded. Wait a minute. I think I had those options backwards. Let me in! There's trees growing out here, you scream as you knock on the door. Let me in before they grow at me! Nobody's answering the door. You might be stuck out with the trees forever. And then there's darkness and it's... Oh, uh, wait. We're in the house now. We have escaped the trees. You no longer have to fear leaves growing at you. There appears to be a pink couch of some form next to a fireplace. There's some doors. There's a, uh, a portal to another dimension just outside the window. Chances are if you smash it with a hammer, you will be sucked into space. Don't do that. And then there's this guy, and he's just like, sup, welcome to my house. I'm the knight. I just kind of stand here and make noises. So you look back to the portal to another dimension, and it's making weird watery noises. You think it might be leaking. What do you do? Uh, try to patch up the leak with some duct tape, or ignore it and let it leak portally goodness all over the ground. You're like, this isn't my house, I'm not gonna bother with this. Let's go find something else to look at. Even though that watery sound bothers you, you just leave it the fuck alone. Alright, let's go. We're done with the portal. And here we are. We're in the main room. There's two... What the hell was that? Okay, there's two staircases leading upstairs and a door that may or may not lead outside. You don't fucking know anymore. There's also a bunch of sounds coming from an unknown location. You decide to go up to the stairs and just sniff the board on the side, I guess. And it's got a lovely floral decor. And then there's three steps going up towards the top that you can see from this particular location. And there's more weird rocking horse noises. And you're like, this is a freaking lovely staircase. God, I've got to look at every individual step in the best fucking god detail I can. It's just amazing. And you're starting to fart all over the place. What do you do? Take a pill to relieve your gas or just let it blow? Let's, uh, let's relieve our gas because I don't want to be farting if anything bad happens. So you take your pill and you head upstairs. There's two doors on either side. One of them has cracked open by itself. You go down to sniff the carpet. You find that you are in your pajamas now. You don't know what's going on. You think you might be hallucinating ever since that tree goodness outside. What 
It's then that you look at your pills and realize they're not, uh, they're not gas relieving pills at all, but they're actually acid. Acid pills. I don't understand it either, but maybe they're not actually pills and you're just hallucinating that too. At this point, you really can't be sure. What you can be sure of is that there's a lamp in front of you and it's got an ugly brown lampshade. What do you do? Turn on the lamp, sniff the lampshade. I'm gonna try turning on the lamp, but I have a feeling you're gonna sniff the lampshade anyway. Oh god! This is the worst lamp ever. You have tried to turn it on and instead there's like half of a face that's all like, Hey, yo, dude, don't turn on that lamp. It's broken. And you're like... Um... You're, you're not sure what to make of this or if it's even just in your head. So you go back to the other room and you decide not to go any near, near lamps again. It's then that you remember Earthbound and realize you should not have gone anywhere near that lamp in the first place. Suddenly it's dark and you're like, what the, what gives? And then you realize the lamps never existed and everything you've been seeing has all been in your head. You're just wandering around in the dark without a torch. You're likely to be eaten by a Gru. What do you do? <sighs> your options are... Feel around like an idiot until you fall down and break your leg, like you do in Shadowgate. Or start illuminating your own light by eating a uh, uranium rod and then pissing all over the ground. I'm going with that one. Okay, so you eat your uranium rod, you're pissing all over the ground, trying to make the place glow. You don't feel so hot, or rather you feel incredibly hot, burning even. Oh, but it worked. So your piss is covering every inch of the walls now, and you know it's lighting up the place so you can see again. It seems that everything you were hallucinating really exists in real life. You think you might be a telepath, or maybe a bat. You're not sure which. Suddenly a cat, and it's like, meow, and it looks at you with fierce eyes. I think its eyes have sucked up all your pee glow, so now all you can see is cat eyes. It's... It looks pretty big, and it's kind of freaking you out, so then it... It, it just goes away, and suddenly you can see again. I guess it didn't after all. Uh, maybe its eyes were just so bright that it made everything else fade into darkness. Who knows? Anyway. There's a door here. You decide to sniff the doorknob and look at the keyhole. The keyhole looked like it would fit uh, your uranium rod, but you ate it. What do you do? Puke up the uranium rod and try to use it in the keyhole? or pee into the keyhole and hope that you have a secret knock spell built into your dick. Um, I wanna do B. So you pee into the keyhole and uh, suddenly you're back at the lamp. And uh, things are not going well all of a sudden. But the lamp has lit up, so I guess that's good. Um. You hear the cat somewhere, but you don't see it. And there's a uh, dresser and lampshade. I mean, a uh, curtain. And you find this diary, and it says, Dear diary, don't read me, ever. There's mountains in the distance. Throw this in the trash can if you ever find it. Okay, so you're not sure what to do. What do you do? A, read the diary and try and find out the secrets of that weird face earlier. B, um write in the diary yourself to save your progress. B! It's always B. Oh god, the knight's like, no, this is not a save point. What do you do? Apologize profusely and run away? Uh, smack him in the face with your uranium dick and hope that he dies. I'm gonna go with A. I don't think the uranium dick would work on him. So you run back into the hallway and decide to leave the diary alone. You're getting pretty tired of that room on the right, so you think you might try the room on the left. But there's also, uh, suddenly you're in front of the portal to another dimension. Okay, um... So here we are in front of the portal to another dimension. It's still leaking. Are you sure you don't want to patch it, or... Or... Fine, I'll try and patch it with duct tape. Uh, you try to do it, but you don't have any duct tape. It turns out that was a pointless decision. So here you are back in the main room. Where do you go? Um, there's upstairs. There's the door that may or may not lead out. You know, we're back to square one, basically.
excuse me, but you are not a cat. Your eyes are not allowed to do that. So somebody eyeball teleports you back upstairs. Makes your decision for you. What do you do? Left door on the left or the hallway? Door on the left, please. Oh my god, what the hell? I can scroll back. That's that's great. Um Door on the left. Turns out the door on the left is locked, so you just keep giving me options that I oh wait, never mind. The door on the left led directly into the basement. There's a lantern here, a web or a spider web and a couple boxes. You feel at yep, you feel around and find these two doll things. You wonder what they're for, but then you realize they're made out of uh, whole wheat and they're edible, so you eat them and leave. Here we are in the hallway again. There's nowhere else to go but forward. Do you go forward or do you wait? I don't know which is which. One of them is forward and one of them is back. I'm just gonna have to uh, uh, uh B. It's always B. Damn it! You've chosen wrong, but now you have a phone call. But you're too... Wait, no, you're not too scared. You go straight up to the phone, like a boss, and you're like, what the hell, who even has these phones anymore? Jesus Christ. And you wonder how a house in the middle of the forest with no electricity... Well, I guess it does have electricity after all. Well, where's the electricity coming from? There's no power poles anywhere nearby. In fact, you think you used the telephone poles that would be nearby in your name. What do you do? Answer the phone. Answer and, uh... Answer the phone normally. Answer the phone as Abe's whorehouse. You, or we grow them, you blow them. Wait. That's not how that saying goes. Whatever. Answer the... Just answer the phone in a joking manner and prank call someone calling you. Or C, just let it ring. I'm gonna just answer the phone. Maybe they'll tell me something useful, because I don't know what the hell's going on. So, it was just the pizza delivery boy saying he was at the door. So, we've got a pizza. We decided to go back to the door. Are you gonna open it for him? Or are you going to be a dick and just leave him out there with the trees? Let's go ahead and open it for him. Uh, okay. But the door was already opened. So the pizza delivery boy says it'll be 15 bucks plus tip. And you better not forget the tip this time. Because I will literally just open the pizza and spit on it in front of you. I'm tired of my job. What do you do? Pay the full amount and tip him. Realize you have no money. Well, I, while my hallucinations are still going, I'm going to go ahead and pay him. He gives you the pizza and you have a wonderful lunch. <clears throat> so here we are in the hallway. We've just eaten pizza. Doorknob still smells delicious. Wait, this is a different doorknob, isn't it? I don't even know anymore. It's made out of a vanilla wafer. That's why you keep sniffing it. 